Hi guys, how are you doing? Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video, which is going to be a charity shop haul today. Now, first off, if you're new, hi, welcome. My name is Matt, welcome to my channel. Please take a moment to subscribe if you're not already. It's free, there's no cost to you for doing so. Just click that button down below and ring my bell to be notified of when I upload. Um, sorry about my, sorry, sorry about my, oh, dishevelled experience, experience, appearance, jeez. Um, I'm having my hair cut this Friday, so that's good. But, I've just got out of the shower. I'm quite warm now I've got out of the shower. Um, and I haven't done anything with my hair. And it's a Sunday morning. And someone's already like drilling or doing something. I say it's a Sunday morning, it's nearly 11 o'clock. So you know, we're nearly halfway through the morning. Well, more than halfway through the morning. We're nearly at afternoonsies. But I have got a bit of a haul for you today from some charity shops that I went to. Um, quite an affluent area-ish to go charity shop shopping um, and I picked up four things and it came to £35 but I don't think any of the things that I bought today knew would have been £35 if you get my drift but yeah so if you like this kind of video and like hauls, too good to go bags occasionally, grocery hauls occasionally, come shop with me, stuff like that then you'll definitely want to take a moment to subscribe, it's free, there's no cost to you just click that button down below and ring my bell to be notified when I upload we're just gonna have to work through the drilling, I'm sorry about that literally, I wanted to sit down and film um, because I wanted them to put this stuff in the wash and that started, so that was very good of them, wasn't it? but let me go through um, what I picked up today now all of these have got their tags on still and i'm going to have to cover the um charity name because all of them apart from one have come from a local charity so i don't really want to show you where i live um let me just tuck this tag in for the moment then actually um while we although it's not very long the tag there we go so this is the first item i picked up it is a tommy jeans t-shirt I got it in a medium and you know it's in like a navy colour and it is embroidered and I thought you know what that is great I will pick that up now this was let me just cover was six pounds so I thought yes please thank you put that straight in my basket um yeah and let me just show you again you know it's just a t-shirt it's just got Tommy jeans written on it it has got a little Tommy logo on the side. Thought that was a really nice little pick me up. I wanted to film this now, by the way, rather than later, because I want to put this stuff in the wash. Did I just say that? Can't remember. So where am I going to put that? Just there for now. That is one the first item I saw. I did go to a few different places, um, as in a few different charity shops and also a few different towns. Um, well, two towns. The first town was a bit of a. I could have bought something, but I didn't really want to pay. How much it was there was a 15 pound like tommy hilfiger shirt which you know tommy hilfiger shirts are normally upwards of 65 i think at least um so i could have bought that and um it'd been a good saving but like that tommy hilfiger or tommy jeans t-shirt would have probably been at least 35 pound new um i know you can get stuff in the sales and you can get them at like 18 quid and things like that but six unheard of somewhere else and i thought that was in quite a good Condish. Now, this isn't the next thing I picked up, but I'm just going to show you. This was from Age UK, so I can show you the tag. Um, also a t-shirt. This was six ninety nine, and it is a Fred Perry t-shirt. Now, it's not embroidered. This is just like screen printed. I don't know the right word. Um, I hope it's genuine, but I do. I after I paid, literally after I paid, I noticed some marks on it. Let me see if I can see them now. Yeah, now they might be, can you see? There's a few marks there. They might just be deodorant or something. I'm hoping after a good wash it will come out. I don't know. I hope so, because it's black, you know, it's kind of a bit noticeable if it's white. I'm just seeing if there's anything on the back. I can't see it. I did pick this up in a medium as well. 6 99 again, unheard of for like a Fred Perry t-shirt. I think it's okay, the tag, the tag is in the way of the tag but that's kind of like a vintage label let me have a look at this mm. that's like the tag so you know it's got the logo on anything it hasn't just got like a you know very papery feeling tag um so i don't know i think it might be a bit vintage ish i don't know 
Um, I remember like this stuff was around with this kind of print when I was at school. Um, like I remember people having like the bags, you know, the backpacks with that on and stuff, just like as that kind of logo. Um, so yeah, I think that was quite nice, six ninety nine. Hopefully those marks will come out and they won't be on there forever. Although I was thinking, I haven't tried any of this on, so hopefully it fits. Because um, sometimes charity shops don't have fitting rooms and things like that. Um, I could hopefully maybe get away with it tucked in if that mark still shows, but we shall see. The next item I picked up, which the next two I would say are my favourites. Um, the one I picked up at um, the Tommy Jeans one was the first one I picked up. This was the second one and I thought I'm not going to be buying that much. The last item I'm going to show you was like the first item I saw in the, the town where I bought all the stuff from was. I thought this was so nice. It's um, a barber shirt. And it's got really nice, like, inside of the collar. That's, like, the inside of their collars of their, um, jackets and stuff, isn't it? And I thought this is so nice. It's a really, I don't think I have anything in, like, this check. Can you see the check kind of print? And on the pocket, it has got, like, the little barber logo. And I picked this up for £10, which is fine. It says bric-a-brac, but this is not back this is a shirt <laughs> and the buttons already come undone um but i thought that's just a really nice shirt although having seen just seen it in daylight on the camera are they a bit worn under the arm maybe it comes up really bright on yeah did not notice that hopefully that will just be all right in the wash um but yeah i thought this was such a nice shirt for work for anything really really i really like that it's a tailored fit i did get it in oh, i didn't actually check the size it was just on a medium hanger so i hope it's the right size there's no size label on the actual thing i'm gonna have to try that on because i did not try it on i did not see the size did not see anything does it have on the tag no it doesn't i will need to check that but hopefully it fits because that's a really nice shirt then the last item, which is the first item I saw in this town, um, it's from Cancer Research, it was £12. This is in a medium. This was giving very much, if you watch the latest half season of The Crown, I feel like it's a bit Prince William vibes. Um, and it's a gaunt, gant, gaunt, um, kind of like a rugby style, but not really, it's got a collar basically. Rugby style sweatshirt but like knitted it well maybe it's not knitted i don't know actually but it feels it feels so soft it feels so nice it was 12 pounds like this in gaunt would be upwards of 100 maybe and i just thought that's so nice just to like wear quite relaxed and obviously not to work or anything maybe but like wearing this like with just some jeans like just so relaxed and like very much sunday going for a pub lunch kind of vibe i thought but it needs a wash because it smells a bit charity shoppy. Um, but yes, I need to try all of these on. They all need a wash. I hope that shirt fits now because I just went off the tag on, you know, the hanger rather than actually looking in the tag to see if it was a medium. But we shall see. But yes, that is everything I picked up recently or from my most recent trip to a charity shops in my kind of nearly local area. And... Um, yeah, as I said at the beginning, I paid £35 for the lot of it and I don't think one of those items would have been £35 originally. So yes, let me know if you've picked up any bargains in charity shops recently. I do love a bit of a charity shop. Um, and yeah, so let me know down below. If you're not already, please take a moment to subscribe. It's free. There's no cost to you for doing so. Just click the button down below and ring my bell to be notified when I upload. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and I shall see you in the next one. Bye. Every single day